In this video, we will transform contact information from AWS S3 so that multiple email addresses per customer can be stored in a custom email address list DLO created in the previous step. To do that, click New in the Data Transform. Select Batch Data Transform. Click Next. Click on View Data. Because we are going to use Data Link Objects, click Next. It will open a new tab. Click on Add Input Data. The input is AWS S3 Customers Data Link, but we will select only relevant fields. Those are alternate email address, primary email address, and customer ID next. We are going to choose a filter to extract primary email addresses from this input. Click Apply. Now we'll use the Add Custom expression, followed by the formula of car length. The field will be the primary email address, whose length is greater than zero. Hit Apply. And only those records which have a primary email address are selected. Next, we are going to use Transform to add an identifier key, name and type, drop column and rename column. Hit Apply. First, we'll drop this alternate email address column. Use drop column function. Let's call it as drop alternate email address. Hit apply. Next, we are going to create a key using the custom formula. Call it add key. Next, use the concat function concatenation of customer ID. Use that. And customer primary email address. The output will be text. The name of the column will be the email address key. API name will be email underscore address underscore key underscore underscore C. Click on apply. So the output will have the customer's primary email address, customer ID, and email address key. Now let's rename this customer's primary email address to just an email address. Click on edit attributes here. Let's call this edit email address field. The label will be email address and hit apply. This is the transformation that we have done. Now let us load the output of this transformation into the DLO, so use the plus output node. The data link object will be an email address list. Email will get mapped to email. Customer ID will get mapped to party. Email address key will get mapped to email address key. Hit apply and save this batch transform as extract email address from AWS S3 customer. Click save. So far, we have extracted records with the primary email address. You must follow the same steps for the alternate email address. Let's go back. Create filter. The filter will extract alternate email. Click apply. Use custom expression. Use car length. The field will be alternate email address, length is greater than zero. But hit apply and you will notice that only those records which have an alternate email address are selected. Now, we have to use data transformation to add identifier key drop column and rename column, hit apply. Here we need to drop this primary email address column. So use the drop column function, let's call it drop primary email address, hit apply. Next, we are going to create a key. Use a custom formula. Call this transformation as add key. Then use the concatenation function. Concatenation of customer ID and alternate email address. The output will be text. Customer label will be stored as email address key. API name is email underscore address underscore key underscore underscore C. Click on apply. And finally, we will rename this customer alternate email address to just email address. Select the column. Use edit attributes. Let's call this as rename to email address. The label will be email address. Hit apply. So the output will have an email address, customer address, customer ID, and email address key. Click save. And finally, we'll append the output of this transformation to the output of the previous transformation. Click plus and drag it to the previous transformation, select upend, and make sure that the keys are correct. Email is mapped to email address, 
customer ID is mapped to customer ID and email address key is mapped to email address. Everything looks correct. Hit apply. Now, let us review the final output. It should have the email address of all the customers, both primary email address and secondary email address which are present. Save it. Let's go back to the data transform. Now, both these data transform jobs will have to be executed. Select the first one and say run now. Select the second one and run. Now, it's a batch transform, so it'll take some time to see the output after some time. 